Papa D's here and today we're gonna be doing something exciting. We're gonna be working on a keto diet, get ourselves in shape and eating right. Recently got a book called Keto Reset Instapot Cooking Book. Thanks for the free gift, Crown Publishing. Let's go. First you're gonna need one whole cauliflower. Medium to large size would be great. You wanna break that up, chop it into small pieces, wash it, clean it. Then you're gonna need some steam baskets. Now, I did a video previously about how I did these. Um, a great IKEA hack. I'll link it on the bottom. All right. Let's move along. You're gonna need one teaspoon of turmeric. You're gonna need one teaspoon of ground mustard. You can always add some chili flakes and some salt and pepper if you'd like as well. One cup of mozzarella cheese. One cup of cheddar cheese. You're gonna need half a cup of sour cream. One cup of heavy whipping cream. And of course, one cup of water. All right, let's go. So let's get our Instapot ready. We're gonna go ahead and pour that one cup of water straight inside. Then we're gonna go ahead and put our cauliflower that's already been cut into our steaming basket. It fits so perfectly. Make sure you check out the video. I'm using an eight quart Instapot. You can use a six as well. Make sure your valve is completely sealed. Just double check. Now you wanna go ahead, turn your Instapot on, you want to hit manual and bring down the time to three minutes if you want it a little softer. And if you want a little bit more of a crunch, I would do probably one minute. All right, so let's get the timer going. All right, cauliflower's done. Let's release the steam valve. We're doing a quick release for this one. Let's get our pot ready. Let's go ahead and put in our heavy whipping cream. Bring that up to a boil. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our sour cream. Wanna give that a stir around with the whisk. Make sure it's nice and evenly uh, stirred so there's no clumping. Then we wanna go ahead and add our mozzarella cheese. Mozzarella cheddar mix, I guess you can call it. Just like that, mix. Let's keep on mixing. Now we wanna go and add our cheddar cheese. That's gonna give it that authentic macaroni and cheese kind of uh, color and, and taste. Mix it around, make sure it's nice and smooth. We're gonna go ahead and add our ground uh, mustard. Now at this point you can always add some salt and pepper or anything that you'd like, but these are the basics. There's your one teaspoon of turmeric. Gives it that more of a yellowy kind of color, has a great taste. And at this point, we're pretty much done. Let's put it all on there. I can tell you that this taste is really good. I was actually shocked. I'll continue sharing uh, keto recipes from this book. Thank you, Crown Publishing, for the free gift. And if you like this video, hit the button that says subscribe. Share it with your friends and family. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Smash that like button. And send me a comment because I always respond to comments. Thanks for watching.